So these cats from Kabul, this group of astronomers, just figured out the math. Something crazy was going on in this little town called Bethlehem, and they gotta check this out. In their calculations, they see a birth, foretold by others before them, but like nothing they'd ever seen. Such potential in a human being. This child would need help. As remote as they were from the event, they were still aware of the politics at play. They'd heard the local tyrant, Herod, was a pretty bad egg, and they'd need to be on guard lest he turn on them, or worse, some slip in strategy should put the child at risk. Fast forward. They make the trek out of the mountains, they cross the desert, they wind up near Bethlehem, and they meet Herod. He says, let me know when you find the kid so I can give him props. Yeah, right. They drop in on the family, pay their respects, leave the gifts, their work's done. Screw Herod, they thought. The guy's a schmuck. Plus, one of them, this dude who has these technicolor dreams, says Herod's on to him and means to do him dirt. So they decide to lamb out on the sly. They're going to have to be cagey, go in disguise. Herod's stooges were looking for the group of them, so they broke up, taking different routes. Four would travel as a group of musicians, having picked up some skills on the long journey to Bethlehem to make the trip less tedious. They felt confident enough they could pass, but as they neared the border, the climate grew more tense. There were protests against the Roman brutality and harsh taxes, to which the Romans responded with more brutality and bloodshed. One day, they heard town folks talking about the Romans searching for outsiders, priests who were of interest to the authorities, Someone had spotted them. Thinking it best to hasten their exit, they decided to cut through rather than around the town they were in. But then they ran smack into another angry protest. They heard soldiers approaching, so they ducked into an indoor cafe. As luck would have it, they noticed a group of musicians who had just finished a set, taking a break. We're traveling from, uh, through. Mind if we sit in while you take a rest? They scrambled to get their instruments out and managed to launch into one of the handful of tunes they'd learned on the journey just as a centurion burst through the door. He saw only patrons and entertainers, so he turned and left as he came with an air of contempt and malice. 